Hi, it's Chris here back at the Estes 2022 Estate Agent and Conveyancing Forum, uh, a forum which uh, is designed to bring estate agents and conveyances together. And I've actually today got with me uh, Ben from Miles and Bar, who are an estate agency in East Kent, and Vicky, who is a, their conveyancer. Now, why is it so important for estate agents and conveyances to work closely together? Let's start with Ben, the estate agent. Um, I just think it helps with that whole process for um, the client, for us as, as businesses. We've been working with Boys and Mourn for over 20 years now um, and it just helps a, a smooth transition for you know, our clients ultimately. Um, uh, Vicky, what would you say is the most important thing in the relationship between the estate agent and the conveyancer? Um, it's absolutely communication. Um, if you have an open uh, communication with the estate agents, you can give them uh, tasks to assist and move everything forward quicker. Um, and also you learn the way that they want to work um, and the way that works best with us. What's the one thing that you, because obviously you don't just work for Miles and Bar, you work for other estate agents. What's the one thing you wish estate agents did more of and less of? I think uh, the thing I'd like them more to do is to speak to us directly because I think the personal relationship um, helps because of course you know them um, and you also know the way that works best for you. So some people get better results out of emails, some people would prefer a sort of face-to-face -face conversation. Um, and I think, you know, the thing I would say they should do less I suppose is um, I think it's about having realistic expectations for the client and for you know how quickly we can work so I think it's just training really um, to make sure that that's uh, realistic. Ben what do you wish conveyances did more and less of? <laughs> <laughs> the burning question. Um, I echo quite a lot of what Victoria says there to be fair. Um, for us we like to encourage the solicitors to use our resources um, rather than sitting and waiting on things. Um, using our sales progression team to help chase things, chase other agents, chase clients. Um, so, yeah, communication in, in that respect is absolutely huge. Do less of. Um, God, blimey. <laughs> Don't worry. I mean, why do you think, you know, the average conveyancing time at the moment is somewhere between 19 to 20 weeks? Um, when I were a lad, it was 12 weeks. Why do you think the time is as, as, as elongated, Vicky? I think that, you know, there is a lot more volume. So, of course, it is taking longer. Really? There's less volume at the moment for on-house transactions. And don't you dare say vote, uh, don't you dare say uh, COVID because there's only been one point, <laughs> there's only been 1.1 million transactions and the average number of transactions a year is a million. So you've only had 10%. I know you had a couple of heavy months. I'll give you that. Did, yeah, very much so. And um, I do, I do think that um, you know people used to need to use the resources they've got better. Um, and you know certainly some of the technology that we've got and um, that we use mutually um, helps to speed things up. Um, I do think there is um, you know a bit of a backlog for people. Um, but we are moving forward and out of that now, I think. And um, what does it mean to you for estate agents and conveyancers to come together for the first time at this conference? Let's start with you, Ben, and we'll finish with you, Vicky. Yeah, I think it's great, to be fair. I think, um, ultimately, we're, we're two parts of the same equation, aren't we? With the, the, the closer we work together, um, the better the relationships. Um, clearly, the, the, the better the whole thing's going to be for all of us. So it can't be a bad thing. Uh, and Vicky? Um, absolutely. I think that we both have the same goal and the sooner we all start to realise that we have the same aim and work together, um, it will be better for the clients and better for uh, our relationships. Also, I get to duff him up. Indeed. <laughs> uh, thank you for your time today.